Hey everybody, welcome back to the Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I'm Ben. And today, we're drinking bourbon. All right, Ben. We got a holiday coming up. We yeah, we, probably... This is the holiday. Oh, this is the holiday. This is the holiday. It seems very festive. This is the 4th of July video. Okay. What are we going to do? We're going to drink bourbon. Oh, well, okay. America's native spirit. I mean, we kind of have to, right? Yep. So, in the spirit of that, we have today, bam, America. America. Bourbon whiskey. All right, Ben, I'm really interested in the bourbon, as usual, but I do have to ask, why is there another box on the bar? This is tea. It is tea, green tea. Actually. On the off chance that this video gets extra patriotic and we need to throw it over the edge of the bar. And we have a discussion about the British? Yeah. See ya. Mm -hmm. So anyway, in the meantime, in the meantime, this is America small batch bourbon. It says America's finest bourbon. Well, I, is that kind of like redundant? Are there bad bourbons? Well, actually, we know, <laughs> the, we know the answer to that question. So this is what this says. I'm going to read the back of this bad boy. Okay. America's finest bourbon whiskey made with pure American grains. America bourbon whiskey is proudly made in America. That's a little redundant, this <laughs> bourbon. With the finest American grain using a patented revolutionary process to patented. offer you the cleanest, smoothest, and best tasting whiskey you've ever had. Okay, that's a lot of marketing speak. Well, you know, it's kind of like America. We like to like really go hard in the paint on Lots of words, not promotion, a lot of, and not yeah. a lot of detail. Yeah. And then it says, uh, this whiskey is dedicated to the same pride and craftsmanship that made this country great. Taste the difference in every bottle aged a minimum of six months in new oak barrels. It doesn't even say charred, but doesn't I'm assuming char? they're following the rules. Well, hopefully they're following the rules. We are we are a, a law-abiding group of people. We are a nation of laws. We are a law-abiding people. So. Hey, they have a real cork. Uncork this bad boy and see what happens. That's the cork pop. Bam. All right, so let's get this poured. And see if the uh, so the, okay so fighting words they put on their bottle. <laughs> instead of marketing speak, what about the the real stats? And I don't know if I can read this. Ninety proof. Ninety proof. Yep. Six, six month. This better be some. I mean, I think we're in for a treat. They have a patented revolutionary system, which I'm assuming is probably some gimmick to try to make it age faster. Oh, you think it's probably? Um, you know, blast it with a. Before we get into the tasting here, yeah. since it's the 4th of July, I'm going to show you something okay. that only works with bourbon. This is a little trick. There are other, you know, liquids and stuff that do something similar, but bourbon is original. And so I'm going to show you right here. Pay attention. Okay, this is, this is, uh, this is going to be unique. A little bourbon on the finger. school for that no it's just that, that it works with every bottle of bourbon you're kidding try it at home that is freaking awesome so anyway let's get into the tasting here of the greatest bourbon we've ever had this is gonna be the best bourbon in the world I can already tell all right I'm sure the British will hate it but they'll they'll pretend we stopped caring what those folks think in 1776 see ya George all right. It smells youthful. It, you know, it smells like, like a, maybe like a six month bourbon. <laughs> but it, it does, it has kind of a quality of, it really needed a little bit more time in the, in the cooker. In all honesty though, if you handed me but this, it, I would say it's young, but six months, I mean, I feel like it's at least got something. There's some brown sugar. It does, it does have, have a little bit of richness. 
There's um, brown sugar, freedom, mm -hmm. light caramel, some liberty mixed mm -hmm. in there. <laughs> Gunpowder. Yeah, I mean, it's just... It does smell like pretty traditional bourbon, to be honest with you. Patriotism rising up out of this glass. Yeah. I'm right. going to be insufferable for this entire video, by the way. Oh, I'm glad you qualified it <laughs> this video. This video. This video. No, I mean, honestly, it's, I mean, I wouldn't... So I would say it actually smells like a rye forward bourbon. Like, I think rye is kind of prominent on, on the mash bill, but... You know what it has to it? It's got that, and we get this in lower proof, mm -hmm. younger stuff. It's got that kind of caramel and white sugar water, mm, you know? Yeah. But to be honest, I was expecting like a funky, musty, you know, you know, like that swampy note you get yeah. off a of super huh. youthful. I was expecting it to smell a bit like the banks of the Delaware River, Ooh. where George Washington crossed in the famous painting. Do, do you know what he just said? before? Well, just before he got across the river and fought a standing army of T Rexes that shot lasers out of their eyes. Well, communist lasers. Before that, do you know what he said before he got in the boat? What? Get in the boat. That makes perfect sense. I just caught a little cinnamon out of here. Yeah, you know what I'm getting actually? And it, it almost, this sounds weird. It's almost like stainless steel. Like a little, like, I don't know, like. Like maybe the, the metallic. fingers of the Statue no, of Liberty? No, no, no. Not the robotic Statue of Liberty, but just like stainless steel, like a metallic note. All right, let's get into right. the tasting yeah. here. Maybe it's Cheers. Vanilla. Vanilla. America. America, cheers. Cheers, America. America. I don't know. America, comma, cheers. Hmm. And eventually it gets there. So it has several flavors. And they take their time. It's like, you know, it hits your tongue and you get introduced to here's flavor number one. And it's okay. And then it takes, you know, a while, then there's another flavor that comes along. It's grainy, it's light caramel and that sugar water. And then there's a little bit of a spice from maybe rye. It, it, I don't know, I still feel it's kind of rye forward. Yeah. Um, it doesn't taste like a natural bourbon. I wonder if that whatever their revolutionary process is, you know? But I gotta tell you what, I mean, it's bourbon, it's America, so I'm happy to be drinking it. I mean, I just, it, so it's moved from stainless steel to copper. And this, I call this a pot still flavor. Is the profile. Statue of Liberty copper? It is, green, okay. green. So now it tastes like the fingers of the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Maybe one finger in particular. <laughs> I mean, it's not gonna get much more patriotic than that, folks. Here goes the freaking tea. Bam, suck on that, England. So now that we've offended England mm. and Whoever may hold the Statue of Liberty in a higher regard than we just did. Well, which, like, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. That's not an insult to the Statue of Liberty. gift from France. It was. God, now it's starting to smell like... This is getting weirder and weirder the more... So, okay, in, in all honesty, it's not a great bourbon. This really needs to be a bourbon and Coke or whatever. This is a mixed drink bourbon. Yeah, it, it really is. This is alcohol to help you have fun at the bonfire later. Yeah. It, this bourbon really encompasses the concept of freedom in the sense that you have the freedom to buy or drink something else. <laughs> um, I will say though, because we tend to like to, you know, if we don't like something particular, we'll tell you we don't like it, but I'm not, and yeah, this isn't something I would buy for regular drink. I bought it just for, for the- Of course. For yeah. the episode. Yeah. And I was kind of curious about it anyway, just for fun. Um, but yeah, this is a mixed drink whiskey. It will work just fine in that. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I'm not getting, well, yeah, yes, yes I am. I was going to say there's nothing offensive, but yeah, there's. Well, what I was going to say is I didn't like get anything. Like America. <laughs> yeah. There's, uh, this bourbon is canceled. <laughs> <laughs> um, there wasn't anything offensive at first. Like yeah, at first it's... it was just a weak, watered down, yeah. young, but I did, I wasn't getting that musty, I'm getting note that I some really sort hate. of note. And as I... it's sitting here, it's it's yeah. blossoming into. It it needs to be a light pour with Coke or whatever, however you mix your drink. Well, there is actually a drink that I have discovered that does a really great job of hiding the taste of bad bourbons. Because <laughs> you can't do a bad bourbon in like a an old fashioned because 
at the end of the day, it's just bourbon with some bitters and See, simple the way, syrup. The you way know? I make old fashioned, you could probably use this. You could not. probably put gasoline the way you make it's, them. It's exactly. like three There's ounces a of a lot of syrup. Three ounces of simple syrup yeah. to each ounce of bourbon. No, it's 50-50. I do 50-50. Oh, okay. But, but so maybe I should make a video of that because I've bought a couple of garbage bourbons just for the purpose of doing on this show. <laughs> and at some point, you need to. You need to drink them for some reason because I'm sure as hell not pouring them down the drain. Well, of course. Um, and so maybe I'll do a video of that or we can do it together or I can just do it or whatever of like yeah. the one cocktail I've come up with or not come up with myself but found yeah. really hides the taste of a bourbon you can put. I've done really good quality stuff in it and I've done dirt cheap stuff that I actually hate and cocktail turns out good every time. So I totally agree. Anyway, I would not say that this is the best bourbon I've ever had. Okay, well let's, okay, back to the <laughs> specs, price. 25 bucks. Okay, well, there's there's one or two bourbons that squeeze in at that price point that. Yeah, know. but I mean, if there's $15 bourbons out there that are way better than yeah. this. Well, I mean, yeah, but I mean, they're going for a market and. I think this was actually maybe a veteran thing that they started this company up and it was kind of a, hmm. I don't know if it was like a raising money for a certain thing. So, you know, more power to you in that sense, in all honesty. Uh, it it's needs, six it needs, months, what do you expect? Yeah, it needs several years. It, it drinks way too watery. Yeah. I will say I've had worse. Oh, totally I've agree. had ones that I definitely liked less than this. Totally agree. Uh, but, yeah, I mean. But, you, I mean, I've had worse is a, is a Yeah. It's <laughs> a gimmick whiskey. Compliment. That's what it is. Totally. It's a gimmick whiskey for, yep. you know. People who love America. We love America. We do love America. But we just, we love really good bourbon too. So, yep. you know, there's a balancing act there. So anyway, well, happy 4th of July. Drink some bourbon, crush some American beer. Blow some shit up. And when I say that, I mean fireworks and nothing else. Grill some hot dogs, eat some burgers, do all the stuff we do on 4th of July. Sweet corn, you know. America. Cheers. <laughs>